Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maskey and welcome to Unmasking Indie Gaming Faster Than the Light Edition. Now, this is the new series, but that is all I'm going to say on that. So, Faster Than the Light, also known as FTL, um, what is it, um, who made it, and uh, what is it about? Well, that is what you're here today to find out, uh, in a little in-depth look at this game. Now, FTL is what I'm going to refer to it as, because as you can see, that's the short form of the name, which is actually faster than light. Um, it's an indie game developed by Subset Games. Uh, this game was funded through Kickstarter, and it was funded extremely successfully. It was, it did really well on Kickstarter, and it is a great game, I'm going to tell you that now. Now, this is not a review series, I'm just going to tell you that, there will be no scores at the end. But I will have my uh, basic opinion inputs in there and just generally showing you guys the game. <clears throat> so if you hear any coughing, I'm just kidding, we're being sick of it. Um, the game was released on September 14th, 2012. It's available on Mac and PC. Uh, I will be playing it on PC here today. Uh, this game only has single player. As you can see, there's no multiplayer uh, menu option there. Which is actually great because it's a roguelike uh, space game. Um, we'll get more into that in a bit. Now, before I jump into this, I just want to tell you a bit about the game. You can uh, visit the game's website at ftlgame.com. Uh, the game is available on their website and on Steam for $10, and there's also the soundtrack available for $4. Now, you can get them bundled together. You buy the soundtrack separately. Um, to be honest, the soundtrack is amazing. It is uh, one of my favorite game soundtracks right now. <coughs> now then, now that all that is out of the way, let's get on. To it. So as you see here, we have the menu with some really nice-looking uh, artwork. I like. I actually really like it. Um, nice and simple. Um, now, if you've never played this game or if you don't know what it is, I'll wait. I'm gonna recommend that you start with the tutorial. It tells you everything you need to know um, without skipping anything that's important. Now you have your stats menu, but first off, <clears throat> start off with the options. Now, the options there is not an overabundance of options. Um, you have the full screen, which requires a restart, which I'm actually kind of surprised by. A lot of games don't actually have you restart the game for a restart. Um, you have numerical hotkeys and dialogue boxes, which is uh, basically, you know, there tells, it shows you the hotkeys and the dialogue boxes and whatnot. Dynamic backgrounds, achievement pop-ups, which is nice. Window focus, auto, pause, on. And what that means is if I click out onto another window because it's a uh, borderless windowed game then it would automatically pause the game which is awesome that's great and then you have your basic sound and music volume uh, press escape to go now <coughs> as you can see all I have is new game here and no continue that is because this game has a no second chances policy what does that mean that means that when you die it's permadeath there's no coming back um, and now this is a key feature because this means that the constant threat of defeat uh, it adds importance and tension to every action you make in the game so you have to be careful with every choice now saying that let's go ahead and get started click on new game and it brings you here you can name your ship I'm just gonna rename it the, the SS Maskinator there we go and um, after that I have to hit enter. Now, we're going to play on easy because I'm not very good at this game. There's a giant star button, but we're not going to click that yet. Now, this menu, this is your ship. <clears throat> These are your crew. Right now, we can't do anything with them yet. As you can see, you have your captain, uh, some other guy in there, and then a third person in this other room. Uh, that's because only two people can fit in this room as opposed to this room here can fit four. Different size room can fit different amounts of people. Um, now then, I only have one layout for this ship right now, but I do have, I have unlocked another ship. Um, let's go back to the first one. This first one is the one that you start out with. Uh, it doesn't come with the drone system installed or any augmentations, but you start with three crew members. Uh, the Artemis, which is, uh, a missiles, and you can see it requires one power. It takes 11 seconds to charge. It requires you to have missiles, and it does two damage per shot with, uh, five shield piercing and a fire chance of low and a breach chance of low. Now, you don't know what all this means. Same with all these icons. All these icons, these are your shields, which you can upgrade. We got engines, we got oxygen, we got weapon control, med bay, piloting, sensors, and the door system. There's a bunch of other stuff as well, but we'll see that on the next screen. We also have our burst laser here 
Now, burst laser is our basic weapon. We can also carry two other weapons at a time. Um, we can rename our guys, so I can just uh, not do that. We can also change their gender, boy and girl. But I'm not going to rename them, because I think uh, it is fine. Now, I don't have uh, this, but to unlock these, you have to have like six unique aliens. It tells you what you need, that's how you unlock the layout B for this. But without any further rambling and talking, let's go ahead and get started. Now, there's a lot of reading in this game, because it is kind of... There's a lot of text-based choices and options. <coughs> this is uh, telling us the storyline of the game, which is basically... We carry data that is really vital to the Federation, to the remaining of the Federation fleet. Uh, we're going to need supplies for our journey, make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before a pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. So, what this means. Uh, we have to fly to different areas and then go to the exit and uh, then go to the next um, stage. And there's a lot of stages. I think there's like 10 stages in the game or something like that. I've made it to five, I believe, and that's how I unlocked that last ship, well, that other ship. Um, but as you do this, the longer you take, the, the closer the rebel fleet gets to you. And eventually, if you do not get out of their grasp, they will catch you and you will have to fight them and try to run away. Now then, this is our ship. We can tell our people to go somewhere. So we're gonna tell Sophia, Go there. I'm gonna power up our burst laser, and as you can see, doing this uh, takes the power from here. This is our this is our reactor. Right now we have three bars of unused power. Uh, these are the things that require power. So if I put that on, it takes up two out of the three because this weapon requires two, as you can see down the corner here. Um, these are also draggable, so I can change these around, and you see it actually moves it on which side of the ship it's on. And see, I can turn that on, and it puts that over there, and then it just switches them, which is nice. So, I can upgrade the engines. This up here, the number of drone parts, right now we have none, and uh, drones are people are things that are on your ship that can help, you know, repair stuff, and do all that. These are our missiles. Every time I fire the Artemis, it will use up... Um, I think it uses, yeah, if this one fires one missile. This is our amount of fuel now. We have to jump. And as you can see, this is our beacon map. Jumping, we can jump anywhere that's on the path. Uh, and we have to get to the exit, but we want to explore before getting to the exit without being caught, remember. So, if I were to jump to here, it would use up one of my 16 fuel. <coughs> now then, we, we send Sophia to the weapons room, so she's gonna manage the weapons. Now, whenever someone, I'm gonna send uh, this guy, Shelton, to the shield room. So, if we were under attack, and they shot the shield room, he would be in there to repair it. <coughs> That's good. Now, we'll get back, we'll get more into that later. Ship, so upgrades, our crew and our equipment, as you can see, you can have uh, more crew members, lots of equipment. <coughs> this is what we have. Now, this up here is uh, what we have, like the amount of credit, I guess, or resources, I don't even, I don't remember what it's called. Maybe if I have it, current scrap. It's called scrap. All right, and that we can upgrade now. Right now, I'm going to upgrade the doors. Now I don't want anything getting through the doors. That would be these doors here, which you can see I can open and close all at once, or just do it one by one. Now, our evade is 15 because he's there. We can upgrade that. Our oxygen's at 100. This is our oxygen room, engine room, weapon room, shield room, med bay. This controls the doors. If that breaks, can't open the doors. And this. Uh, that there is our sensors which allow me to see the other rooms and whatnot and you can upgrade these along the way and this is our shields and that's pretty much it except for the hull here this is our health bar if this goes down we're dead so now let's uh, do our first jump get into the game this game is highly addictive I've spent a lot of time now a lot of time with this game we detected an automa uh, automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost now the game gives you choices we could intervene to defend the outpost, which could, uh, they could thank us and whatnot, or we could just avoid it and not fight this, uh, auto scout. We're actually going to intervene. Now, see it went red. It's hostile. So now, we're in the battle. So basically, I select this, and I want to take out his weapons first. He doesn't have any shields, which is good. It's automated, so there's no one on the ship. Once our weapon charges up, it will fire, and see, he got through our shields, and he attacked our engines, so I'm just going to send her there. To uh, fix our oh he those I meant our oxygen 
room. Now see, our oxygen level is going down because of that. But see, we win. Blow their ship apart. And the ship breaks apart, you quickly salvage what you can. We got one missile, one drone part, and 13 scrap. Uh, the outpost hails after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed on stop by those scouts. Take this on the house. 21 scrap, 3 fuel. See, so you get stuff for helping people, which is great. Uh, now that's fixed. Uh, now let's go fix up the engines. Now, we need more power in order to power this other stuff. So, just going to do that. Get us one more fuel. Sell, uh, and then we will upgrade. What should we upgrade that? I always like to upgrade the shields. That's just me, but I can't assign the power to the shields until I have another upgrade for it. And that is how that works. Now we're just going to wait for the engines to be repaired, and we will go on and jump over to the next area. So, let's jump. See, this is this says distress. So someone here is, uh, someone might need help. So let's go ahead and see what that is. Let's say it's coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Um, their defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew will approach it without being fired on. No, can't. See, we fire volleys, but aren't able to penetrate the defense system shields. Some of them have no trouble piercing yours, though, and you take minor damage before escaping. So, unfortunately, we were too weak to be able to actually help them. Um, so, a, I made a bad decision there, got myself hurt. And that's part of the uh, complex strategic gameplay that the FTL has to offer. Um, a big, big thing about this game is managing your crew and where they are and what they're doing. But another thing is to manage your ship's power distribution, um, which is this down here and whatnot. So I can turn that off, and that would go off, and it would bring the powers back again. Now, this game is you're able to play this game at your own speed. So. If I press space, it pauses the game. I can think about what I want. I can send him there, and then you can see he's going to go there. But I don't want to do that, so I'm going to undo that order. But I just click on him again and right clicking in the room. You just left click to select something, right click to tell him where to go. That simple. And you just press space again to resume. Um, there's six diverse alien races. So there's six different alien races in the game. Um, hundreds of text based encounters. Uh, lots of tough decisions. And. You know, just a lot of uh, content in this game. Now, this is another thing. Danger. Now, we're in an asteroid field and there's a pirate ship here. There's actually people on this ship. It's a rebel rigger. Um, it has shields. So, we're going to actually fire through its shields. I'm going to take down, try and take down its shields first, as well as its weapons. Now, hopefully, our Artemis fires first, but I'm not sure. So, it's going to be about the same time. And it looks good. See, now they, they want to surrender. Now, I am not going to stand for that. I'm not going to let them surrender. Um, so, we will not accept surrender. We're going to keep going, and I'm going to take out their drone. Because they do have a drone. I'm not sure if they're using it. I can't see it. If it was an attack drone, it would be on here. Uh, it might be a repair drone, but I honestly doubt that. So, I'm going to attack there. And see, we won easily like that. The game starts out pretty simple. Again, remember we are playing on easy, but now we can't get out because we're in a danger zone. Our FTL drive hasn't finished yet. So, being in this asteroid field, asteroids can actually come and hit us and break through our shields. As you can see, this one here. But now I'm going to jump out of here. And we are going to go over to here. Ah, we found a ship refueling station. Um, we actually don't need it because we have a decent amount of fuel. We could go to the exit now, but that's not a good idea. But look at this. If we get caught in this striped red area here, then it would they would catch us and we'd have to fight them and try and run away. Uh, this here means they have taken over that planet or whatever may be there. We never got there, unfortunately. And this is the warning area, which means get out uh, because this will move to here next turn. So we're just going to go here. We will keep an eye on that. Um, find a number of ships convening around a station. You turn into the unencrypted communication channel. And here, after conversation, you need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. Okay, we'll offer our services. We're not properly equipped. Okay, so they don't want our help. Um, a bunch of jerks. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get that. Because the more power, the better. 
Um, there's a store here. This gives me a chance to show you guys what the stores are, which is great. This game is completely random. All the galaxies are randomized. Randomized. No two playthroughs will ever be the same. Um, which is great. So now here we have a lot of stuff we can do. We can sell stuff, weapons, and whatnot. It tells you their your, their value right there. Um, but nothing I have is worth it. You can buy fuel, missiles, and uh, whatnot. You can fix your ship uh, like that. I used as much as I could. You can buy crew members at this one and weapons at this one. Other stuff you can buy augments and uh, droids and whatnot. But unfortunately, we cannot do that right now. now. There's a distress down here, so we will just quickly go down there and start heading our way up to the exit. Um, you read the beacon immediately detect a pirate ship. It seems the distress beacon was a trap. All right, so we walked into a trap. So we are going to try and take out their weapon system and their shield system, just like last time. That's usually what I do. I usually go with a strategy of that. Um, see, I, I usually don't accept it when they try and surrender. And now, actually, I'm going to go for their oxygen system, because if you take out the oxygen system and they don't get it repaired, they could be in big trouble. I'm not going to fire the rockets yet, try and save it, but now I will just take out their engine and finish the battle just like that. Now. These battles are really easy right now. You see we're getting some scrap and whatnot, which is good. Fuel, still have missiles, so it's all working out pretty good so far. As you can see, they are catching up. So we need to start making our way back up to the exit, encountering whatever we may encounter on the way. Um, we will try to be the hero and attack this pirate ship. Again, weapons and shields. Uh, it's what I like to do. So that is what we are going to do. Now, they didn't get through my shield in one shot. You see this here, before, I'm, before I say this, I'm gonna explain. Now this here, it's if it's filled with blue, it means your shields are perfectly fine. If they hit your shields, it's not strong enough to pierce it though, but if they hit, if they were to hit it again, when it's like this, just a blue line, then they would go through it and it would damage our ship. See, but the shield, since I have someone in there, it's constantly being worked on. Which is always an advantage to having someone in there. I'm going to try to save the missile this time. We'll see how that goes. It worked, which is great. That is awesome. And we got 29 scrap from there, so that's pretty good. Now, see they are really catching up. I'm going to upgrade the shields. And see now, I, not enough power. <laughs> Grr, so next time we should, we should be able to. We should be good. I'm actually going to go here. Instead of going the other way, which would probably be easier. <laughs> I'm going to take a risk. We'll see how that works. Um, We're going to attack the slaver. Take out his shields and his weapons. Now, you're going to see me do this probably for every fight. Now, you play a bit of a waiting game, but that's alright. This game, I really enjoy this game. This is probably one of my favorite games uh, that I have in my Steam library right now that I'm... I've, you know, recently acquired. Um, I would like to thank Subset Games for uh, giving me the review code of this so that I could have this chance to take a look at their game. So, um, if by chance they are watching this, I'd like to thank you guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. Now then, I'm just going to upgrade that and then uh, 20. I could upgrade the piloting, which I'm going to do because that, that's always good. And then, boom. Now, what does upgrading the piloting do? Um, Let's figure it out. Let's find out. It allows the ship to make FTL jumps and dodge when piloted. Upgrades add autopilot that allows some evasion even without a pilot, which means if I got rid of him, it would allow me to evade somewhat. Now then, we should be able to get up here, see what's up here, and then go to the exit and move on. Alright, an auto assault ship. Um, we will attack it, hopefully being able to take it down, I hope. Now you see, we are capped out for power right now. There is nothing we can do for power at the moment. And looks like we're doing decent. We're doing decent. All right. <coughs> now I don't know if they auto repair. I'm not sure if the ship, their ship, is able to do that. Boom. That that was extremely easy. We weren't damaged at all. We got 24 scrap. Uh, and then ex extra scrap, which is great. So now we need to actually upgrade our power before we can actually do anything. Now then, we go to the exit and we can't leave right away because uh, we have to wait. So we can sell missiles here. That's what it wants us to do. Sometimes they'll have an enemy or something, but this time 
no such chance. Now this button pops up here, so we can go to the next sector. Now, we have one of two choices, as you can see, this is like a skill tree almost. We can go to the red one, or the purple one. Purple is uncharted territory, red is usually enemy territories. Now this changes with every playthrough. Green is civilian, and are usually the easiest to get through, red being uh, the hardest, in my opinion. So I'm going to go purple, and we're going to go in an uncharted nebula. Which can be quite dangerous. I'm not going to lie. It can be quite dangerous. Um, many electronics fail. Yes, when you're in these clouds like this, your uh, sensors tend to fail a lot. Which you have to watch out for. We're going to go down to this distress down here and see what that's all about. Makes fighting a lot harder when your sensors are down. Um, now then. We're going to dock to try and rescue them. Uh, and cut, we cut through their hull, you're able to rescue a few survivors, but many more are lost. One of the survivors lost during your crew. Now then, we have a new crew member. His name is Jones. He has 70 health. I don't know if that's his cap health. Let's send him here. It is his cap health. health. Alright, so Jones, I want you in the engine room. You can work the engine room. Now then, now that, that is settled, we need to do something. Uh, what should we upgrade? What should we upgrade? Um, I like to, I think, I think we'll go with that. I like that, because then we get to see where the people actually in their ships. Now, we actually can't jump anywhere from there, so we have to go back to where we were before. And now we can jump. And as you can see, I'm going to point this out. We can only see the rooms where people are because our sensors are down. Which is interesting. Now, because of the type of, um, nebula this is, I want to kind of get over here quickly. But we have to deal with this scout first, so um, we don't have to fight it. But um, do 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 do. We're gonna fight them. Just me the audio. Oh, intruders detected. So they got on the ship. They are on the ship. That is never a good thing. I don't know what they're gonna do. But they are apparently here, so I am going to open the doors up to try and get them out of here. God, that actually does, it can work. Um, I have no idea where they are. Um, this is not good. I think we got rid of them. I think. I, I'm not sure. Someone random might be on our ship. Um, oh, God. Yeah, someone is on our ship, so I'm just gonna send help. We don't want anybody to die, so we're going to try and gang up on him. Apparently his name is Butters. Butters is not doing too well in this fight. It's two versus one, so we should get this pretty easy. Now, uh, they're going to repair the med bay, and then Shelton will be able to heal up. Um, we actually got pretty lucky that there was only one intruder, because intruders tend, tend to be one of the main reasons I uh, have a problem with uh, in this game. Now, I know I switched them rooms, but it's fine. As you can see, they do build up skill levels here. Slowly. Like, really slowly. But that, that's okay. <coughs> now then. Um. What should we do? I'm gonna go. Oh, I can't go more shit. I'm just gonna get another power thing. Um. So I think that's probably a good choice. And we'll just jump down over to here now. Still no scanners. Um. But there's nothing there so that means we have to jump there's a store up there but we have no scrap so there really wouldn't have been a point in going to the store because we can't buy anything though we are kind of oh we can't pick them up we are kind of low on fuel so maybe hopefully next time we find a um, store surely we're not really finding anything I'm actually just gonna jump to the exit so that we have a better chance of finding a store next time and we found something. We're gonna stay hidden. So, uh, just because I don't want to really fight. Oh, I went beside the exit. My bad. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, next sector. Now then, we have uncharted. We have two uncharted nebulas. Either I'm just gonna take the bottom one. Uh, so that's not. It kind of sucks. Um, we'll have to navigate on instinct again. Yay! Stores up here though. Don't know if we have enough but to buy fuel. Um, if we run out of fuel, I can show you guys what happens if you run out of fuel. But I have three. 
That is not good. My cat is meowing. My cat always meows while I'm recording. I don't understand it, but that's besides the point. There's nothing here. Let's try and get out of this area. Unfortunately, we, unfortunately, we have one fuel left, so we're gonna avoid provoking the ship. Now we can't make it back to the store anyway. So we are out of fuel. So no fuel. We're turning the distress beacon on, and we have to wait. Uh oh. This isn't good. So now we have to fight them. And they know we have no fuel. <coughs> which puts this yellow bar here on our ship. But luckily, we still have our shields and whatnot up and running. So we can defend ourselves. Boom, let's take them out. There we go. But we only have two missiles left, and that is dangerous as well. Um, but we got two fuel from that, so. Hopefully we can make it. We won't make it anywhere, actually. Um, false hope, because this is our last fuel, and we can only make it to the exit. We won't know what is there. Now, we can sell drone parts, which we don't, which I'm going to do, because we don't really have any use for them right now. Um, my distress beacon is on, so we're going to do this. Um, ah, do, do, do. You can still use your impulse engines now we will stay near the beacon <laughs> and we'll wait uh oh all right now this really this really isn't good guys uh, but this gives us an example of the the, s the scanners and what they can do when they're upgraded now you can see we can see in there we can see their guys and now we just actually set their ship on fire so if I attack this area again it should um, attack their guys and it did you can see both their guys are in there and they are injured uh, I'm gonna try and actually take out their guys um, at least one of them now then we are going to attack their med bay because that's where they are we are out of missiles so I have to have to use the burst laser here they have no oxygen um, one of their guys actually just died that that is how bad that is so they they're they're clearly losing but uh, this is a slower fight because I'm out of missiles but we actually just did a win so yay us got 30 we got quite a bit of scrap we will go ahead and upgrade the shields by one and then our fuel cell by one and we have enough fuel to get to the civilian sector we will go to the Zoltan home worlds that is where we will go this time um, these guys should hopefully be kind of friendly. We can hope, but there's no, uh, there's no knowing for sure if they're ever going to be friendly. Like, look at this guy. It's an auto scout, and he's hostile. Auto scouts, anything automatic is usually hostile in this game. Alright. Oh, he, uh, has, like, an Eon cannon, so he was able to... Uh, make our render our shields like stunned pretty much but we have deactivated his weapons which I don't think he can repair just gonna go ahead and get the engine we are running low on fuel again we are always running low on fuel this is no good he is actually able to repair it by the looks of it <coughs> looks to be what he is doing uh, even though there's no one on the ship because it is an auto scout I guess they're just able to do that on their own but again not a problem we took them out Wow, we got a lot of scrap for that. Still not enough for uh, the new shields. There's a store here, though. We can buy ourselves some fuel. Be on our way. Could buy a weapon, but I'm not going to because we need fuel. There we go. And I will buy us some rockets as well. And there we go. And we will go over to this section where it's going to block our scanners. But we can quickly leave here. We're almost actually at the exit again. I know I'm not really exploring them a lot. Uh, uh oh. They took one of our guys. Alright, so they took our pilot. Which really isn't a good thing. 
I have no idea how the hell that happened. I should have actually read that, but readings for the week. Not really, I'm just joking. Alright, apologize and wish them luck. We do not have any fuel to spare, unfortunately. Even though I wouldn't have. Anyways, just don't have the fuel. Alright, so we boarded them. And we got another guy back. We got Noemi. Alright, so you can work on our engine room now. Welcome, welcome to the crew. Uh, all we have left to go do is a civilian sector. <coughs> We're actually almost at the end of this area. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that, what that would mean for us. Um, but we will find out, I'm assuming, when we get there. Um, shouldn't actually take that long, but you never know. Alright, so, jump past this. We actually have no fuel again! Yay! We will wait. Uh, I'll ignore the offer. Okay, so, I don't know we will wait again. Negotiate your... Ah! Alright, the slugmen are not happy. The slugmen are not happy at all. Luckily, we bought a few missiles. If only the missiles would actually hit. Oh god, our engine room is actually damaged now. That is just an example of what can happen. Should have probably got the fuel. Get him out! Get him out of there! Get, get him out of there! All right, he is going to need the med bay, and he is going to need that real soon. Um, these guys are in some trouble. This fire is spreading. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen here. We lost a guy. We actually lost a guy. Um. I think the only reasonable thing to do here is to open up various doors to let oxygen from the outside in, um, in order to, <laughs> well, in hopes of stopping the fire, but it, it's, oh, they took our oxygen. This is not looking good for us, guys. I, I must say, this is not looking good at all for us. The fire is gone. Close the door doors on the ship. I have to go. I have to repair our oxygen. Because we literally have about no oxygen left on the ship. He is actually going to start dying. Um, guys, this is not looking good for us. We are losing everybody. We lost another guy. We are pretty much done. But as they say, the captain goes down the ship. But they jumped away without saying a word. Alright. We actually have the oxygen system back up. We have two people left on the ship. I thought we only had one. <coughs> I wasn't paying attention, clearly. So we lost two in that battle, but we're still here. And that's what counts. Now we have, this is the part where we have to repair the ship. Uh, which is basically you just wait around. Wait for the ship to <coughs> get repaired. From your loyal crew members, that is. Now you send them back to their posts. It's a shame. Alright, get on the shields and we will jump. We again, we have no fuel! So we will wait and see what happens. I will pay them for their fuel, for five fuel. And now I will try to make my way to the exit, but the condition our ship's in, I don't know if we'll make it. I. Oh, we, we've been boarded. Um, I don't know where they are. I don't know what they're doing. They are taking out the oxygen. All right. Well, they can do that if they so please, but I need to jump as soon as I can. Try and jump out of uh, the stuff, which they haven't. I think we were boarded again. Ah, there's a lot of people that have boarded us. Alright. It's not good. Not good. Pretty much open all the doors. Oh, that was a bad idea. 
That was a really bad idea, to be honest. Oh, we took both those guys out. But there's still guys on the ship somewhere. Uh, and we are all dying, and there's nothing I can do about it because we have no oxygen. So guys, this looks like the end of our journey in FTL. That is just one of the ending scenarios. You get a score. This is my new high score. Um, all crew members have died. Your ship will continue to drift for eternity or until looters destroy it. Um, we can look at the uh, various stats that you can see I have. Uh, and whatnot. My ship best and the achievements I have got, which is the just getting started one. Apparently I'm not very good at this game, but I really enjoy it. So we can go back to the main menu. Um, or we could have restarted and whatnot. Now, guys, that is FTL. My opinion, it's a really great game. Again, I'm not giving a, a score. This is not a review series. Um, <laughs> but again, I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, since this is the first one, I'm going to ask you guys if you could please leave feedback below. Or let me know what you think. Uh, remember, you guys can pick this game up on Steam for $10. It's a great price. Um, at the time of recording this, it is actually on sale. I'm not sure if it'll still be on sale by the time it gets up. But at the time of recording this, I know it's on sale for about 8 bucks for eight or nine bucks so it's like a dollar or two off guys remember to support the developers over at subset games check them out at ftlgame.com my name is maskey thank you for watching i will see you next time